Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Hi, welcome to today's webinar. We're going to be talking about how to drive in-store traffic. I'm Tally Mack. I'm the CEO of Bravo. And hosting today's webinar, we have Steve Mack. He's the founder of Bravo, fourth generation pawnbroker and former owner of Super Pawn, which was 50 stores. We've got Steve Osores, who's level three technical support agent, project manager, and he just hit his five year anniversary working for Bravo. And Christy and I will be answering any questions that you have real time. So if you have questions, you can just go ahead and type them into the chat panel. Christy and I will be standing by. And then also in the panel, you'll notice a handout section, and I've gone ahead and uploaded this entire presentation to the handout section so you can use the takeaways from today and, and get started right away. So without furthermore, I am going to flip this over to Steve. Thanks again to everybody who joined. Hi, everybody. Um, happy soon to be Christmas and holidays. I'm really excited uh, to make the presentation today. Um, picked up some data and some facts, um, really resonating on what's happening this year. Um, and we have 10 days, really, you know, 11 days fully, but 10 days before um, the really the end of the season. And the opportunity um, is never better to market your pawn shop, um, to produce sales produce loans, and create new relationships. Um, it's the best and most productive time to market your store. So let's go back to the basics and ask ourselves, why do we market? Um, and marketing can take you know, several shapes, but essentially it's either energy and dollars or both that you're gonna invest in channels of communication to your customers and new customers to come into your store. One of the things that I always marvel is that when I'm watching TV is the repetitive nature of, of really well-known brands advertising over and over and over. And I ask myself, why? And the question I come up with is, they want to have that name, that brand, in, in, right in front of their eyes when they're thinking about spending money. And there's nothing more prominent than the holiday season that customers aren't choosing to sell. They, I mean, choosing to buy, uh, to buy, they have to buy. And this year is really an epic, epic year because an individual today actually clipped the $1,000 mark per person. So this is millennials, this is, you know, kids, this is mom and dad, female, male, everyone spends at least $1,000. They have it in their pocket. And if you can get them in your store, they will spend money because they have to. So let's just look at some data. Holiday shopping and planning is spread across multiple channels. 55% will shop online and in department stores, while 51% will go to discount stores. Pawn shops fall into the discount store category. 44% um, in grocery stores, 33% in clothing, and then 24% in electronic stores. Um, pawn shops fall into the 24 to 33%. Now we obviously aren't big in clothing, but we have a you know diverse um, 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 you know uh, product mix that throws us into that percentage. 50% of those shopping on online saying they will pick up their purchase in store. Now, I just wanna emphasize, this is the reason we created Baia and we, and we promote that Baia is really a local shopping channel for in-store pickup. And, and read that, 50% of people shopping online are picking up in the store. So your local customers will shop till the end to pick up merchandise in your store. So a real opportunity for you to um, really kind of uh, expose that. And Baya extends and, and keeps marketing Google and AdWords continuously till the end, even though we know that people want things shipped and it can't be there in time for the holidays. So don't give up on online ever. 
Um, 60%, you know, are waiting until at least November to become browsing, and, and a few people buy because of Black because of Black Friday and, and the holidays and, and uh, Thanksgiving. Sales and discounts remain the largest factor. Pawn says discount. That's why we're in the sweet spot. Pawn shops say discount. And when people are thinking about purchasing, that's 71% uh, of people looking for quality and selection of merchandise. The next largest factor is 60%, followed by free shipping. So there's nothing better than that if you really want to entice people to buy online, offer free shipping, no matter what. And we know the local part of this is about convenient location. So customers have come in your store, they're shopping on, on, on the website, looking and then doing the on, online pickup. So the dollars are, you know, tremendous amount of money is being spent for holidays, $720 billion potentially. And this brings that dollar amount to $1,000 a person that have to spend money. So go ahead and uh, hit that next slide. Um, let's just ask ourselves, and it's not too late, how does our store feel? We can turn the music on, make sure the Christmas music is there. You've got them in your store. You know they're gonna spend $1,000. Your employees and everyone need to be like on point. What are they gonna buy? You have also short-term layaways. Sometimes they get their Christmas bonus in the next 10 days. You really wanna get them on those 10 day layaways, those real short terms. They're ready to buy. Don't forget that everyone has to sell. And we can see some examples of some banner ads from Liberty and from ALK. And then even a lot of pawn shops um, may even have a Santa. And what's interesting is Santas are really kind of hard to find. And uh, there's nothing better than, you know, putting out a banner out in front of your store, say Santa, come see Santa and bringing families in with their children when you know they have to buy. New customer acquisition. Um, you know, the top five very effective new customer channels are Facebook, Instagram, search, um, Instagram organic and search organic. Um, Holiday marketing for e-commerce brands, you know, it's a big time um, way to look for new customers on these five channels. Uh, customer retention. So let's just talk about this. This is, this is the key point that I think that pawnbrokers and the pawn industry really need to pay attention to. We are losing customers. Your stores are losing customers. It's just pure attrition of people just dying off. And then customers being hounded by fierce competition coming from all angles of com competitors wanting the sales dollar, plus people wanting to give those loan customers alternative financial products. This is the opportunity to thank existing customers, but also thank them in a way and entice them in a way that we need to get them to come into the store during the holiday season. Now, when I mentioned earlier, you know, you, 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 you're, a sh you're a shopper on Target, you go to Target, you see your ad all the time. Those ads are to remind existing customers that they have to come back to the store where they normally shop. They really want to interrupt in the most infinite way that Walmart and, and all the alternative brands and Amazon aren't disrupting that consumer who has a thousand dollars they have to spend by not going into that that target ad that you that you normally so we're going to talk a little bit about segmented segmentation because bravo's powerful platform when we talk about data we prepare the data for you to be able to fire off and spend the marketing dollars which results in the highest return on investment and the dollars that you may spend in the next 10 days are the most efficient, most productive dollars that you can spend bringing in your existing customers. You have general email, uh, Facebook re uh, re retargeting, Facebook retargeting, but I just wanna mention on all those retargeting on those, those three channels, that's more of a new customer acquisition. And what we're really gonna be focusing on is text messaging, 
email and mobile notification because that's the segment of customers that you've worked all year long. You've worked all year long since January 1 in preparation for the next 10 days to execute to get those customers so you can get back your investment. All those customers that you put into the system are an investment so that you can fire off a reminder and we're gonna talk about powerful types of, of enticements to bring those customers in, in order for those customers to be in your store thinking about and wanting and having to spend either all of that thousand dollars or a good portion of it. So not all customers are the same. Don't take a one size fits all approach to your marketing promotions and start segmenting your customers into smaller group, okay? So, and this is, this is the power of, of the customer ad hoc and how you just need to really think about who are your best customers, how much money do they spend over the year, and, and, and how do you wanna say thank you to them? And, uh, and so spending packers, fre frequency of visits, gender and age, and then, you've, and then we have two of like very, very fortunate in the palm business. We have two very, very good customers, loan customers and people that come in and purchase. And then we think, we're not sure, and, we're, and Steve is gonna show some really interesting reports where you can actually see the activity of your customers because everyone seems to think, oh, my loan customers are the ones that buy from me. Well, there are a few. But how well are you executing on that? And because a lot of times we have this preconceived notion that customers that are borrowing don't have money, but actually they're borrowing money to spend. And, they, and it's a huge opportunity to do loan promotions. And when, you, and when you have the customer in the store and you're giving them money, they're basically using that, that, those borrowed dollars as a portion of the $1,000 they're gonna spend. So the segmentation of these customers are key in, in, ter in terms of the type of enticement in the email, the, the mobile notification, and the text message. And we'll talk, we'll talk a little bit about some opportunities there. So we can look at it from male and female, and then we have the transactional activity I talked about. Now, buy activity. Buy activities are the items that merchandise that you've purchased from people. Highly neglected customer segment. Think about it. Without those customers selling you merchandise, we wouldn't have merchandise to sell in our store. How important are they? Are they worth reminding those, that segmentation of people that, hey, do you have anything else you want to sell? Or thanks for coming in. You know they have a familiarity with their store. Now, and, and the number one thing about new customer acquisition, the most difficult thing in bringing in new customers is a pawn shop itself. So anyone that stepped into your store is a better target to spend marketing dollars to than someone who has never come into your store and you have 10 days left. So then we have total buys, loan activity, total loans, sales activity, and total sales. And then we have first time customers, last time customers, and transactions between. The customers who have been in your store most recently are the ones who are most likely to come back in with the promotion that you offer them. So as an example, and in Bravo, you can basically make a very, very enticing uh, uh, ad to bring in customers. And my favorite, my favorite um, um, promotion is either a huge discount on a specific category or giving money to customers. And I mean giving what I call pure gift card. A pure gift card is when you give a customer, let's say $500, and they can spend the $500 on any purchase in the store without a minimum. You're gonna say, that's crazy. What if they just spend $500?
And I say, well, you know, we can spend $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000 on a radio ad. And that promotion brings in customers and they spend $5,000 of the $5,000 you just spent on radio. You'd be almost kind of tickled pink to get your money back. And you really, and a lot of times you really can't target it back. But if you give a customer $500 who spent a lot of money with you over that period of time when you do your segmentation, it's someone who has actually purchased $5,000 from you or paid $5,000 in interest over the last year. And you're gonna say, I'm gonna give that customer $500 because it's more likely that customer is gonna come back. And, and one thing that um, I never really understood, but actually it came to me because living in Las Vegas and the, and the casino promotions are so, are just so enticing and they seem like they're so liberal that we actually tried this. And the human nature of giving someone 500 bucks is that they always spend more than what you give them because they have $1,000 in their pocket that they have to spend. Plus you're giving them $500. It's gonna ensure that that best customer who you know spends money in your store, who's gonna spend a lot more money in your store and you're building the retention. You're, you're, you're telling your customer, I love you. I love you so much, I'm gonna give you money to come in in the holidays. And they have to spend that money by the 24th. You create, the, you create huge value because no one gives away money and you give it a time sentence so that they have to come in. And you know who these customers are, so when they come in, you thank them, they show you, you the offer on their, on their phone. You have the, the $500 gift cards ready, all segmented out in the box. And they go, let's go look. And they apply that $500 and you're gonna see they're gonna spend 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 and they use the $500. Now, make sure that the, the, the disclaimer on these $500, sometimes loan customers come in and they wanna pay off their loan. So you want to make sure that this only applies to sales. $50, $100, $200, $500, $1,000. You have a customer who spent $20,000 in sales over the year. Investing $1,000 to get that customer to come back, who you know spends a lot of money, you'll be shocked. And you can put together a whole campaign with this. What's even more beautiful, is rather than pay the 5,000 to a radio station, how about taking you know, a portion of that or a portion of your budget that's left and say, I'm gonna take those dollars and give those to the customers I know who are gonna spend, spend money with me. And what's interesting also is that it's actually a tax write-off. You're almost paying yourself. So when you're creating the gift cards, you can take those gift cards when those are in those customers' hands. When they actually go out and spend that money, it's actually a tax write-off. So there's a lot to be said about this campaign and you deliver this through email, through text messaging and through mobile. And what's beautiful about Bravo is that you can do all three channels and I suggest you do, you wanna hammer them. You wanna hammer your customers with, the, with these promotions and it's so efficient and so cheap that you can, you know, you can do a whole promotion with all your customers for less than less than 500 bucks uh, on an average um, for a single store. So some other ideas: um, store-wide discounts, flash sales. Um, you go in your segmentation, you find out what your customers are buying. It might be firearms, it might be jewelry, it might be tools. You can say. You know, look at your inventory, see what you have in there, check, check out your age inventory and blow it out because they're going to come in and they're going to buy and they want discount. Um, countdown to Christmas, 10 day giveaways. Um, you can have spin the wheels. I mean, you can, it's, it's really, you can create a lot of fun in your store in the last, last 10 days. Um, one of the biggest promotions that we ever did at Superpawn, and um, we had, we had a give what we call bring a friend. Like you have a customer who they're great and you say, hey, bring your friend and they get the same discount. And uh, we had stores that did 100,000 in a night. And, and, and your stores can too. 
um, and it brings in new customers and they're bringing their friends in and you have you have a party you know cheese and crackers and wine and some beer um, you know make it make it festive um, and again the, you know the coupons and the gift cards are are, are so easy to execute um, in Bravo and you give them you know pure value and they let them buy what they want to buy um, if they don't use it and they don't they don't come in but they don't forget that you gave them something. Those are your greatest customers. And you want those customers to last longer. And the only way to do that is show them some appreciation and I appreciating them, you're giving them something without any tie to it. It's not $100 towards a $300 purchase. It's not like, you know, a kind of gimmicky 30% off. It's $100, you spend it however you want, doesn't matter. And they say, thank you. And then they come back for another year worth of business and they don't forget. I just want to touch on trades. Um, pawn brokers overall, I think, really miss the boat with traders. And, and I see it when I buy a car. I haven't bought one in a while, but the last one I had bought for my daughter, they didn't care whether I had the ability to pay cash or pay credit because everyone can do that. They were just interested in saying, what do you have to trade? And what I found out was four cars out of five are used cars. Only one out of five cars sold at a car dealership is new. They make all their money on used cars. And lo and behold, what have we been doing our whole entire career in the pawn business? We need merchandise. Why aren't we asking for trades? Ask those customers if they, you know, they have something, they love it. It's more than they can spend. What do you have to trade? And don't limit it to the same type of merchandise. Who cares? Bring in the trade. Um, I just tell you, it's the most powerful introduction to an idea that people are so familiar with because who doesn't buy a car? And they know the whole, they know the whole process when you go to a car, car dealership, but it should be an automatic vernacular in this holiday season, you know, take the trade. And it just, it refills your shelves. You don't have to hold it in most states. You price it right there. Um, Bravo accounts for the whole thing. It's super, super easy, super powerful. And the customers that come into pawn shops have stuff that they wanna trade. So action items. Um, use the tunes, you know, play the music, um, wear Santa hats, put them on your put them on everyone in the store. It's fun. People get a kick out of it. You know, buy the buy the tree, get it, get it in your front door. Um, I you know, I used to love um, to hit it on um, on three things: smell, sight, and see. And the and the and the C, the C part is the cut is the is the employees the lights and the and the smell of having some uh, potpourri um, uh, the smell in the store just it hits the senses and they know that they have to spend and it just works you know set a goal um, I know that I know that every one of you are going to have a fantastic year but by implementing a ten day like blitz using text messaging and email. And, and, and mobile, whatever three that you have, use them all, that you're gonna see your, your good customers coming in, smiling, thanking you, and with, with money in their pocket and more money, because you know $1,000 you know they're gonna spend and the, and the 200 you give them means they have 1,200 to spend in their mind. And it's just gonna make their holiday so much better. Um, segment your customers. Steve is going to talk about that. Um, start up your marketing. Say yes. When you, when customers and during the holiday season, and you know that their customers, your customers, and they're making, you know, they're going to make you an offer still. Yes or no, or you can say, you know, hey, I'm giving you 200 bucks. I can't give you the kind of discount. Um, you have to you have to work that balance. But say yes. Don't let customers walk. This is your chance to get your customers to say. 
This is the place I chose to buy, I chose to launch, to borrow from, and, you know, it's productive. When they're walking out with packages, you've won, they've won, they're happy, and they're going to come back. And create that bring a friend campaign. You can do it very, very quickly. Um, I suggest you do it, you know, in the, in the, in the uh, four, three, two, one, any of that, those last four days. Um, your employees basically get heavily involved in that and they bring their friends in. You know, it's interesting how, uh, you know, people are so fascinated about people working in the pawn shop that we don't invite our own friends to come in the store that we work at. Perfect opportunity to have some cheer, show the people that you that you know, that you work with to come into the store um, and, and give them, you know, give them, you know, once in a lifetime, once in a lifetime deals. So this year, we're offering free marketing concierge services to help you set up your campaign. Um, it's our way of saying thank you to you guys to, to um, um, make your Christmas the best Christmas ever. Um, and then, you know, D December is our busiest, uh, big, busiest sales month of the year. Um, you know, jump on the Bravo, uh, Bravo train and get uh, your best prices for those people that are on this call that, um, uh, that aren't already, already on Bravo. Uh, this is the year for technology. Um, I mean, if you look at what's really happening in uh, the most successful businesses today, their technology story. And your pawn shop, you know, could be a part of that technology story using Bravo. Um, fortunately, I think that, you know, we've been uh, very, very fortunate that we've seen a vision, the same as Walmart has, uh, where you've got substantial brick and mortar investment. I mean, we've been counting on our stores and customers to come into our stores now for hundreds of years. And now we need to lift uh, with technology to make our stores work. And where stores are basically a local attraction, um, now you can turn your store into a global marketplace um, because people love to buy used merchandise. The used product category is the most profitable category in retail today. And you have a market and the ability to understand how to buy merchandise and sell it, take advantage of it. Um, the technology um, that we have in Bravo and what I, what I, I feel really fortunate working with, with uh, Steve Osores is he's been around five years. He knows the ins and out of product. He's next on this call and he's going to show you um, so many like cool ways of leveraging the technology further. Um, creating some really cool segmentation um, outputs and really and really powerful ways to communicate to your customers in the next 10 days. Thank you. Okie dokie, Stevo. Hey there, Can you guys. Start sharing your screen. I am doing that now. So Steve is going to be showing you all um, how to how to start segmenting and slicing and dicing the the data in Bravo, um, so that again you can walk away from today's call with exactly what you want to do and where you want to go, um, and who you want to start segmenting. So um, I will flip it on over to Steve. Great, you guys can see my screen, right? Yeah. Sweet. Oh. My, I am so excited to talk to you guys about this. I think that Bravo has some of the most powerful features as far as you know, data and customer out, out, outreach is concerned on how to take the power of the data that you already have on your customer database and help drive those return customers to come back into your stores. And one of the first things I want to talk about is the mobile event feature inside of Bravo. Now you're going to find this inside of customer management, which you should be able to access right from the Bravo dashboard. And as soon as you click on schedule mobile event, you're going to see a couple of really awesome things. The first thing is we have some very, very easy to use pre-made uh, layouts for you to use, like the, the birthday uh, the birthday trick, which I'll talk about in a little bit, the store anniversary, and 
you know, courtesy reminders. Now, remember, it's very easy to schedule your own event, something custom. All you have to do is click this little green plus button and start filling it out. Now, when we create our uh, uh, when we create our custom event, we want to try and make sure it's close to about a, a day ahead of time. So this is something you're definitely going to want to jump on today, right? Especially if you want to start tomorrow with with reaching out to your customers, trying to drive them back to your stores, you know, so that they can make those holiday sales, right? So once you name it, you know, make your message whatever message you wish to convey, right? And put in the date and time of what you want to send. Then come over here and you'll see a few uh, a few options in this dropdown. Auto is going to basically take all of your customers and it's going to prioritize their uh, message delivery type. Now, yes, we can use email and we can use mobile pond, but I'm really going to focus on SM SMS here, right? A lot of our customers probably aren't yet on mobile pawn so sms is going to be the easiest way and the most fastest way to convey that hey come check us out type message for the next few days right because what are we all carrying in our pockets a cell phone and we're all completely like tied our our entire lives into this cell phone every time it makes a little noise what do you do? You look at it, right? You're like, oh, I got a text message. I wonder what it's, oh, it's a coupon. That's cool, right? So essentially what this is going to allow you to do is create a overall wide promotional message. It's like, hey man, come into our store in the next 10 days, show us this message and you know, whatever type of you know, promotional message you wish to send right? Uh, these SMSs are going to really drive home that final, hey, come get your Christmas uh, Christmas presents message, right? Um, so that you can, you know, start driving customers into the store doors again. And when I get into the ad hoc section, we're going to, you know, dive into multiple different ways on how uh, we can segment our customers, but for reaching out to everyone as a whole, you know, schedule a couple of these, you know, have one go out tomorrow, have one go out the day after that, have one go out the day after that, right? Focus on SMS, but remember, mobile pawn and email are also options. However, SMS is probably going to be the most effective one. So let's dive out of this real quick, and I want to come over here to ad hoc reporting, and let's talk a little bit about the outreach to our different segments of customers. Okay, so I have a couple of really awesome ad hoc queries that I want to show you guys and show you how they're intended to work and show you the value behind them, right? The first one we're going to talk about is pretty much anyone who has a loan in your store, right? A simple type equals customer, loan activity is greater than one or greater than whatever number you choose, right? This can be greater than five, greater than 10, um, depending on how many customers have a lot of loans in your store, it's gonna affect this number. So when I run this, I wanna show you guys some, some really cool, powerful tricks, right? When I run this, I get a very specific list that I laid out specifically for this purpose, right? Now, on this list, I've got my customers' names, my email addresses, I have a column for the first time they came into my store, and the last time they came into my store, which you can easily add from the column chooser, I can see their total sales, total buys, and total loans, right? All in this really nice layout here, right? Now, I also have my SMS column, my mobile pawn column, and my email column. So if I want to start sending out individualized promotional messages, all I have to do is click on this little SMS bubble, type my message, and hit send, and it's going to send right? Let's go back over to ad hoc. Let's say we want to get a bit more complex with it. 
let's go with, I want to see all the customers who came into my store for the first time at some point during this year, right? I can create a query for type equals customer. City contains the name of the city, right? And then first time in with the range of the entire year. So this is going to show me all of the brand new customers who did business with my store this year in the year of 2018. I want to extend this a little bit. So I'm just going to scroll down one right there and then run that. Bam. So this is a short list, but that's okay because this isn't a real store, right? However, because I ran that list with my layouts already configured, I have everything I need for that outreach right then and there. But, you know, there's way more cooler stuff than that. What if I do all of my big spenders? right? This is going to show me a list of all of my customers who in the year of 2018 have spent more than $2,500 at my store, which is a pretty big number. If they've spent that much money, the, the likelihood of them wanting to come buy more stuff from you and do more with you is even bigger, right? Especially this, this big spender right there. <laughs> now, remember, once you have your list, all you have to do is click on the little SMS bubble. Or if you see that they are activated on Mobile Pawn, feel free to click on the green Mobile Pawn icon, right? If it's not green, you can't send them the message. If it is, that means that they've been activated on Mobile Pawn. Uh, now, let's, let's see what else we can dive into. Um, another thing I like to point out is you can segment in more than just one way. For example, uh, let's go to gen the gender one. Yeah, this one. All right, so I don't know about you, but I know a couple of stores who sell really high-end purses, like expensive purses, right? And those are such valuable items and such high profitable items because customers come in, they make their loan, they end up forfeiting that loan, store takes ownership of that purse, bam, it's ready to be sold. I can run a list for all of the female customers who have spent at least a thousand dollars in my store Right. I didn't I didn't bother adding time frame, but you can if you so choose to so that I can then market very specific messages to these individual customers. For instance, the pure uh, the the pure gift card that Steve was talking about. These are prime candidates for that. Now, uh, let's see what else we can get to. to. Yes, we can segment by male. We can segment by female, um, but we can also go and segment based off of a customer zip code. I don't know how many people live in large cities, but if you want to, especially if you've got, you know, multiple stores in the exact same city, like I know a lot of companies do, right? You can target individualized ads based off of the customer zip code, right? To force them into their closest store, just in case. Uh, you can also, you know, dive into customers' birthdays. This is something I call the birthday trick, right? And remember, there is two ways to go about doing this. First being the schedule mo mobile uh, messages, which this is this is just such a, a cool thing. Activate the birthday um, pre-made one. Say right about five days before a customer's birthday. Send them this little happy birthday message, try and give them a fat discount, get them to come back into the store. You know, uh, one of my favorite messages or, you know, promotional discounts for these type of things is the free DVD or free, free, free Blu-ray trick, right? You can do that uh, very easily because Blu-rays and DVDs are something that most pawn shops have tons of right? If you say, hey, happy birthday, show us this message and get a free DVD or get a free Blu-ray, right? They're going to come in for their free birthday present, but they're also going to be looking at all of your other inventory, right? What's the, what's the likelihood that they need a Blu-ray player 
with that new Blu-ray that they just bought, huh? Or what if they come in and end up buying a movie and also, you know, buying a sound system or a new TV, right? The point is to get them to come back into the store, right? Uh, now, the other version of the birthday trick, which I was just showing you, is more uh, more one-on-one, -on -one, more customer in individualized, right? You can obviously run an ad hoc for type equals customer, customer birthday range, and you know, choose January 1st to January 31st or whatever your range is, whatever month you're in. I always recommend doing it at the beginning of the month, right? Bringing that whole list up and then focusing on who's got the total or the most total uh, loans, who's got the most total buys, who's got the most total sales, who are my highest valued customers? Now let's hit them with bigger promotional messages, right? Something that might not be necessarily covered in the mass messages, right? Because that's meant to go up to the entire customer base. But these guys have spent nearly $26,000 in my store, right? I can easily send him a quick text message, you know, giving him some free money, just like what Steve was just talking about, or giving him uh, a free Blu-ray for some uh, for his birthday or whatever, you know, message you're trying to convey, right? Um, also, if you've got the email uh, feature set up and configured properly in Bravo, you can actually email customers who have provided their email address to you right out of Bravo, right? So send them an SMS message, send them a mobile pond message, send them an email, right? Hit them on all three sides because when someone sees, oh, I'm getting free money or I've got a free gift card or I've got a free Blu-ray rating for me, the likelihood of them, you know, leaving their houses, getting into their cars, driving over to your store, and then going to go shop is even higher, right? Because they've already done business with you in the past. And that's that's the key point here is they have all, everyone on this list have already done business with you in the past, right? And new customers are great, but returning customers have a lot of value in them, right? You've already invested $100, $200 in each customer that you've brought into their store already, right? Might as well, you know, spend a few more dollars on some marketing uh, SMSs or some emails or some mobile pawn messages. Give them something else. Drive them back into your store for more goodies, right? Because the more that they uh, spend in your store and the more business that they do with you, the likelihood of them inviting their friends to come also do business with you is exponentially um, you know, blown up, right? It's called the word of mouth. Now, when we are looking at the data, right? When we're building our ad hoc reports, like let's say I wanna see all of the customers who have both at least one loan and one buy and all live in my city. Let's run that real quick. Bam, just like that. When we're looking at that data, we can make smart decisions on how much we want to market to this person, right? We have all the information we need set up right here. I can see the first time this customer came in, the last time he came in, how much money he's already invested into my store, right? Which is a lot, it's much more higher than, than this guy up here, right? So why not, instead of sending him just the mass message, but also send him a personalized email. Thanks, Ron, you've been such a great customer, right? Here's like what Steve was talking about, here's free $500 if you spend it before the 24th of this month, right? Sure, that's $500 free dollars. All these guys have massive amounts of money invested in my store, right? That's, that's easy, easy sales, 
right there. Um, now, one of the, the things I want to mention is that Bravo is so powerful. It's actually like the only platform out there that allows you to dive into your customer analytics and your customer data like this, to segment like this, right? So that you can, with that little spark of imagination in the back of your head, make those targeted ads, you know, send those targeted SMSs, right? If you wanna send um, all of the high, high value females a, uh, gift card for a free $250 to spend towards any jewelry item in your store, do it. If you wanna say, hey, all you dads coming up on Father's Day, come into our store and here's $300 towards any tool of your choosing, right? Because we all have tons and tons of tools, right? Um, and utilize the power of this data to your advantage, right? I always say that there are two things worth more than gold that we can try and get every single transaction from our customers. The first most important is their cell phone number. Because once we have their cell phone number, we can send them SMS messages. Once we have their cell phone number, we can maybe get them loaded up on mobile pawn, right? We have that direct line of communication now that anytime I see anything with that customer in Bravo, it doesn't matter if it's in customer management, it doesn't matter if it's in uh, loan buy management or even void view transactions, I can click on this little bubble and send that customer a personalized message, a promotional message anytime I want, right? That kind of power to dive into your data is something that only Bravo really has, um, which as store owners and store operators, give you the ability to focus your attention on specific segments or specific markets of your customers or your customer base as a whole, right? Pick out all of the best players, keep them coming up to bat while having the rest of the customer base or the rest of your customer team, I guess you'd call it, right? Still getting those standard scheduled SMS message um, from the store using the, uh, the uh, schedule mobile event feature, right? Hopefully with that cell phone number or with that email address, which hopefully you've already caught, gotten, right? You'll, um, be able to send them a message so that they can come back into the store and spend more money with you. Now, the second most valuable piece of data, which I just mentioned, to try and get from your customers is the email address, right? Because not only can we send them an email right out of Bravo, but we can even, you know, do a massive export of all of our customers' names and emails and focus on, you know, some kind of uh, mass email campaign, right? Which is really easy and really helps drive home that customer retention. Um, so when you're talking with your uh, customers or, you know, when you're working on maybe some training with your associates, Think uh, think about something that I was taught a, a couple years ago um, when I used to work in the retail industry myself, is uh, customers, they love getting stuff for free, right? So if they're standing at the loan counter or they're standing at your sales desk, right? Ask them, hey, do you want to get some free promotional material from us? Like maybe some coupons or, you know, possibly save some money with our, our store in the future or next time you come in. Oh yeah, I would love to get free money and coupons and stuff. Sure. All I need is your cell phone number and your email address, right? If you just straight out ask them, oh, well, what's, what's your email address? What's your cell phone number? They're probably gonna say no. 
Hopefully they don't, but there's a big chance that they might say no. So instead of going at it from that angle, offer them something, give them that carrot, say, hey, if you give me your cell phone number, I can actually start signing you up for our customer rewards program and you know, start sending you some promotional um, messages every now and then, right? Oh yeah, I, I love getting coupons. Here's my email, here's my cell phone, right? Give them something so that they give you those two, two little gold nuggets, right? And if you can, get them on mobile pond. Uh, let's Thanks. see. I think we're close up on time now. How, how are we doing with time? We are out of time. <laughs> so thank you, Steve-O, and thank you, Steve. Um, we have text available now for those of you who want to um, utilize that free text concierge um, that we have through the holidays. I know a few of you guys have already reached out, so that's great. Also, um, if you're a future customer, somebody that's interested in Bravo and don't yet have it, um, please reach out to Christy at Baya.com. That's K-R-I-S-T-Y at Baya.com. And um, we're so happy that you joined. Good luck in the next 11 days until Christmas. We know y'all are going to knock it out of the park. So thank you, everybody.